Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Here is an innovation, a proof of concept that I call Smart Econ Wheelchair. And I designed it based on the feedback I got from the African wheelchair users. And it will be able to offer four key things. So one, uh, extreme mobility. Two, independence. Three, comfort. And finally, happiness. So why do I say extreme mobility? You understand that African, most of the African infrastructure, they were designed without the wheelchair users in mind. So you find that the stairs, roads and everything, uh, the normal wheelchair user cannot be able to access. And so I designed this uh, to be able to tackle that problem. So this concept as of now, it can be able to move forward reverse and show the basic features that the bigger version will be able to uh, to do. So first, I have a set of toy wheels here and the reason as to why I chose this design is so that the users can be able to tackle the stairs easily. This set of toy wheels can interchange like so, so that it tackles on each stair. So each wheel steps on each stair independently. And yeah, we have set of toy wheels on, the, on both sides. They are all mechanically powered. And I can show you it when it is moving forward, like so. And um, that feature is key, like it will enable them, uh, them to tackle the stairs off-road as well, because it has a flexible chassis, it can twist. That means it doesn't limit them to where they can go, it can accommodate different levels of terrain. and. That enables them to move in areas where there are no roads and they are not accessible with the normal types of wheelchairs. And the other thing is that it has the auto balancing uh, system on board. Right now, it's not functional in this version, but it can be able to uh, enable the user to remain at level at all times when they are going up the stairs. They don't have to keep on adjusting uh, the seat level; it will be doing so automatically. And the other feature I'm about to mention brings me to the next point, which is independence. It enables the user to stand, like so. So it's pretty slow, and it will be taken to the third point, but independence. So this feature will enable the person to do the things that we do normally while we are standing, be it cooking while standing, having an eye-to-eye -eye conversation. Uh, if they are lecturers writing on a board, the list is endless, so they don't have to rely on family members to get something for, for them. And the other thing, uh, the other point, which is comfort. So this feature will give them the ability to do a form of physiotherapy. We understand that they remain seated uh, almost the entire time of their day, and that brings in new complications because we were created to be flexible to move every now and then and so this feature will enable them to stretch their spine their various muscles and they can as well adjust the seat to the way they want it to be and that brings me to the third point comfort and uh, they will be comfortable and they'll be able to adjust the seat the way they want and when you combine the three first points mobility independence and comfort the fourth one automatically comes into play, and that is happiness. And this is what I was able to achieve with the little that I had. But for me to develop the full-sized version, I need your help. I need financial help. I need funding so that I can be able to get the parts to create the full-sized version so that I can be able to start running tests and before long have it in the market so that African users can start enjoying life so that they don't they stop concentrating on the problems they face day to day so that they can start focusing on their dreams if they are musicians they can start focusing on what they love most this will be take, this will take care of uh, this will take care of uh, the main challenges that they face on day to day my name is peter minor and thank you for listening and thank you for viewing my innovation